Hey, Firebrand X here with a uh, quick five minute video on the Intec Gaming GBA HDMI kit. Just going to show a few of the externals before we get into the nitty gritty. Uh, it comes with a very nice instruction booklet, I thought. Nice full color uh, photos on good paper stock. First page shows everything that comes with the kit. Very easy to follow. Solderless instructions, by the way. You don't need a soldering station to put this together, which is very nifty. Uh, one of the things they this company seems to do right is the externals. It's just a shame about the uh, you know video quality and other issues which we will get into. Here's the shell, SNES port on the front, power button and pairing controller button on the top. Got your extension port, HDMI port, useless aspect ratio switch, and USB-C power. And this is the PCB with the uh, GBA to SNES controller adapter. You would use your GBA shell to basically recycle it and use it if you want that kind of experience. Now let's go ahead and get into the nitty gritty here with the very horrible picture quality. This is extremely bilinear filtered uh, GBA mode here. This is uh, their 16 by 9 setting which of course does not match GBA at all. Uh, so in addition to muddy pixels you got wrong aspect ratio. So let's check out uh, 4 by 3 which of course again does not match anything. Now, Intech, when I emailed them about this, they claim they can fix this. Whether they do or not remains to be seen. Now, let's take a look at Woozles. Look at how nice and sharp that is and perfect aspect ratio because it's just simply square pixels. That's all you need to do right there. Look at that. Now, let's go back to the uh, Intech GB or Game Boy Color mode, I should say. Aspect ratio is wrong here. Once again, horrible filtering. And here's how it would look on Woozles. This is square pixels, correct aspect ratio for the handheld. Looks great. Let's flip back between the two so you can see the difference here. See how it's elongated there? Um, this is actually 4-3 mode uh, when we switch between the two, but this is back to, of course, Woozles kit. Now let's check out 16 by 9 mode for the Intech Gaming Kit. Now here you'd think this doesn't match anything, but actually by accident matches Super Game Boy output uh, with CRT aspect ratio correction. And I believe they just landed on this by pure accident because it's cropped compared to Super Game Boy. So let's check that out. And you can see how the Super Game Boy has more vertical resolution, but has that same aspect ratio on the pixels themselves. And that it's just pure accident. Let's flip between them so you can see that. The eggs are roughly the same shape, so it looks to be the correct aspect ratio by pure accident. And again, it's just because of the 160p versus 224p nature. So that really was by accident, like I say. And let's go ahead and check out Woozles here in comparison. Nice, clean, crisp graphics. This matches the handheld aspect ratio. So this would be equivalent to square pixels, Super Nintendo output, or handheld aspect ratio. And it looks great to me. <laughs> so now let's go ahead and do some testing here with the uh, output of the Intech. And it passes drop shadow here. There's no lines, but this is for HDMI. So at least it passes for HDMI, and that's very good. It's about the only good thing about it, though. Let's check scrolling. And look at all that horrible frame skipping. That is not the video. That is actually on a display. And with Woozles, that same scrolling is liquid smooth. And you can see here, even the vertical is very jumpy. I found this to be, you know, intolerable, just unacceptable. So now let's go ahead and check out composite video. And whoa, boy, does it look ugly. And of course, it's 480i instead of 240p. So it does not pass the drop shadow test. But notice the horrible horizontal lines there. That's just not going to cut it, boys and girls. So let's uh, round it off with the pros and cons. You've got excellent shell exterior, really nifty GBA controller to, you know, SNES controller, basically, uh, to recycle your GBA shell. Solderless install, very nice instructions. And of course, the cons being the horribly muddy picture quality, wrong aspect ratio for just about everything except by accident uh, CRT corrected Super Game Boy. You have variable lag, which you will see in Bob from RetroRGB's video. Uh, incorrect 480i uh, output for composite video. You need actually 240p for that. Horrible frame skips and, of course, mono audio only. I found this by testing with the uh, 160p there. Intech admits they made a mistake there and they can't fix it. The only thing they said they could fix is the aspect ratio and whether they do or not remains to be seen. And that's it. Catch you all later.